Hello everyone, Greedo Gus here, bringing you another review. Today we're going to be looking at the three and three quarter five POA Chewbacca, the mighty Chewbacca, as Jabba the Hutt calls him, and Return of the Jedi. So, like last time, we're going to start off this review by looking at the packaging and the card back. Packaging and card back for this figure is very much like the last one that we looked at and very much like the last Jedi packaging. You can see pretty much the exact same bubble and card back for the exception of, again, the yellow color scheme and of course the character on this one being the mighty Chewbacca. Force Link 2.0, Disney Hasbro logo, some warnings. We have Chewbacca's name there. And then moving on to the back, we have the Force Link being shown there with Chewbacca and his weapon, which I'll get to in a minute. There's a bit of an issue there. Force Link again with the exclusive Han Solo that comes with the starter pack. More warnings, text, some information on the figure, I believe. And that's about it for the back of the card. Moving on to the front again, give you one last look. And that's about it for packaging. Moving on to the figure. So, as I said, I was going to talk about the weapon because there's a little bit of an issue there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but maybe someone out there has figured this out. Um, I have not as of yet, but we'll see. I'll come up with something. So, the issue that I'm having with this blaster is that if you look at his hands, if the camera will focus there, is those hands are pretty tightly closed. It's very, I mean, look at that amount of space. Look at that space versus the diameter of this of this holder for this weapon. I mean, it's just, there's no way that's getting in there. And the other one, same thing. I mean, if that, if, if anything, that one's maybe a little bit more rounded. This one's a little bit more rectangular, so I would believe it would go in this hand. But I've tried off camera, and I can't seem to get it in there. But we're going to work on that. But I'll show you the, fig the uh, excuse me, the blaster. So here's a blaster or rifle. Looks like more like a We'll call it a blaster. Looks more like a blaster. That comes with the figure. Uh, it's a two-tone blaster. You have your brown, you have your black. Love how you have this, this like little slits right there, giving you some texture, some slits there, as well as the uh, the stock. I'm not a weapons expert. I think that's called a stock. Correct me if I'm wrong. Be nice. And there's your weapon. It's much different. Normally we see Chewbacca with a bowcaster, so it's awesome to see him with something else. I like new things. Speaking about new things, look at this bandolier. Look at this strap. I mean, it's just completely different. You have two straps as opposed to the one. You have your pouch on the bottom. I really am liking this new design. I think it's phenomenal. I just really, really like it. I can't wait to see it in action in the film. It is just an accessory on the figure, but I can't wait to see the way he uses it. Maybe even how he gets it. I mean, it's just great. I mean, I'm really liking it. And as I said, this is the only... This is only my second Chewbacca figure. Uh, I'm sure there are collectors that have many more. I mean, if you look at the one in the back there, and this one, I mean, uh, you can see the difference definitely with the with the strap there, as well as the figure itself. But you know, oops, sorry about that. Um, but we'll go back to talking about this guy. Um, I think the detail on this guy is great. Um, I love the texture of the fur. Um, a little bit shiny here and there, but you know, it's pretty uh, matted in terms of uh, paint. So it's not picking up too much of the light, which is which is good. Um, I love this figure. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, I think what's different about this guy is that you see more of his his toes and his hands than I think in previous figures. I could be wrong, but um, it doesn't seem to detract from the figure, at least in my opinion. Um, we'll talk about articulation now. So in terms of articulation, you're not going to get much out of the head. You're going to get some back and forth in terms of uh, rotation. A little forward and back, a little side to side. You get more, probably more side to side than anything else, but if you look, uh, at least on mine, this is almost starting to get loose. And if I were to lift this up, you can actually see the inner piece. The camera will pick that up, the inner piece. I, it's not really doing that, but that's all right. Um, so mine's becoming a little loose, so I have to really be careful with that. I don't plan on moving him too much, but you know, just give you the warning there. You have the mobility of the right arm. It's a little bit impeded by the pouch, but if you kind of move it out, you get some more movement there. Left arm as well, good amount of movement. Back, forward, and the legs the same. Not really impeded by the, 
pouch there, his uh, little messenger bag. This one doesn't seem to move as much as the right leg, but that's okay. He's mostly going to be just standing there looking awesome. So that's pretty much it as far as this figure goes. I think he is a great Chewbacca. I'm really happy with him. I'm glad that I took the chance and picked him up. I was kind of uh, picking him up on a whim, kind of one of those impulse purchases. But I have not regretted it. I really do enjoy him, enjoy the weapon. I'll have to figure out how to get it in his hands, but, you know, I digress. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been beneficial to you. I hope that you uh, got something out of it and that you enjoy this figure as much as I do. So definitely go pick him up if you can. This figure is the same price as the other ones, uh, $7.97 at my local Walmart. It's going to run you about $7.99, about 8 bucks. Definitely pick him up if you, could, if you get the chance. So this is Greedo Gus signing off. I hope you enjoy this. Take care. See you on the next one. And may the force be with you.